This video is going to discuss the God Rule Guide for Crooks Termination 4 and the perks that you should chase for. Before I get into that though, I just want to remind people, if you have not subscribed and you actively watch this channel, make sure that you do hit subscribe. This will be the most important thing that you do. And even if you are subscribed, check anyways, because sometimes YouTube can make you be unsubscribed. This can happen and has happened in the past. Just double check it. It's me politely asking you. It incentivizes me to share more secrets with you pretty straightforward so now we'll just talk about the rocket launcher and the god rolls for this so on the screen you should now see the full perk pool for this weapon and i'll go through what why i went with the role that i did right i'll give you the short answer of the god roll and then i'll go into the longer uh, the longer version of it so the short the short answer is the God rule, I believe, for like solo damage and, and, and playing solo is this. Volatile launch, quick launch, or hard launch as your barrel. In this column, you want either impact casing or alloy casing, which I don't have neither. So this rule is not 10 out of 10. But those are the two best in slot perks for this weapon, in my opinion. You then want clown cartridge and then explosive light or surrounded in the second column. With probably a reload masterwork or velocity masterwork. Depends on what you get. It's not make or break though. So that was the God Rule for Crook's Termination. Now let's go into the longer uh, version of this explanation. So first you need to understand the stats of rocket launches in Destiny 2 and how it affects your gameplay. Because this has been a long debate since 2017 going all the way back to Curtain Call versus Sins of the Past, which most of you won't even know what I'm talking about. It's the old Velocity versus Blast Radius argument. Now, I think since then, more people are clear on it, but I think the newer players still aren't really clear on it, so I'm going to go over it for you now. Blast Radius states increases the explosion radius of this weapon. Would you ever want to spec for a Blast Radius rocket? The answer is no, because... Heavy ammo is heavy ammo, and it's valuable to you for DPS. Especially solo, because you're on your own. If you're wasting your rockets on ads, you're doing something wrong. So the only time you would spec for a blast radius rocket is if you want better ad clear from your rocket. Because when you shoot the rocket and it hits the ground, it's going to do more damage on a radius basis. So you clear more ads. But why would you waste valuable heavy ammo like this? You wouldn't. Maybe back in the old Gambit Prime days, maybe, right? But nowadays, no. So I'll just say this wild comment. I have never, ever, 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 ever specced for a Blast Radius rocket since 2017. So if I haven't, then why should you? It's obvious. You never do this. So velocity increases the speed of projectiles fired by this weapon. So... Literally, this rocket launcher does not have tracking built in. It has tracking as a perk, but you're not going to go for that role because I'm not recommending that you do. So it's got no tracking, this rocket. So you need to make sure you hit your target because if you don't, you're going to lose so much damage. Velocity will help you hit the target that you're aiming for. There are multiple different types of bosses, wizards, ogres, all sorts of different anatomy of enemies. Right, Some of them are skinnier than others. Some of them are fatter than others. The fatter ones are easier to hit, but the skinnier ones you know, are hard to hit. So the faster your velocity speed, the quicker that rocket's going to be to hit your target. This is very important that you spec for velocity on this rocket. It is the best stat. Well, this and reload speed are the best two stats you need on this rocket launcher. This is so important that you know this. You can't get this wrong. This isn't a matter of opinion. This is a matter of physics. It literally tells you it increases the speed of projectiles fired by this weapon. What more do you need to be told? Don't complicate this matter. Velocity is what you want on this rocket. Stability handling, we don't care about. There is something about high handling uh, rockets. There's there's some extra thing about that, but I'm not going to go into that because this isn't uh, about high handling rocket launches. But there is, there is something tied to that, but I'm not going to bother touching on it. Reload speed 69 stat, which is a good number. We're not going to masterwork it even though it's reload um it's masterwork for reload i'm just going to leave it at 69 because i believe that's better than 70 isn't it and then you got aim assistance res uh, zoom airborne effectiveness forget about that stuff just focus on velocity and reload speed 
So now you understand the stats. Now let's go more in depth into the perk per wire I chose it. So in the first column, you've got clown cartridge, permeability, slideshow, envious assassin reconstruction, eddy current. So all of these stats, I mean, permeability has got some use because you can then match a surge to a different one and have like solar, but there is a massive drawback to permeability. When I tested it two weeks ago, it wasn't as good as you would hope. So don't go for that. Don't worry about that, right? Because you're going to be using this with arc surges anyways. So then we, we're left with four perks, clown cartridge, slideshot, envious, reconstruction. It's right. Clown carriage is best in slot for dumping rockets. This has made me realize this this last week that it's actually better than reconstruction. Because reconstruction, yeah, you're going to get two rockets loaded at the start of DPS. Yes, you're going to get this. But then after that, then what? Or you're going to sit and wait for recon? Oh, but then you're losing time. So reconstruction is not as good for rocket dumping. Clown cartridge is, is superior to that perk. However... Depending on your loadout, you might want to use reconstruction if you like doing sniping or something like that. So the, 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 there is that, but clown cartridge covers more bases than what reconstruction does. In my opinion, this rocket should be a dumping rocket, and clown cartridge fits the role better. So that's why I think clown cartridge is better, in my opinion. Envy's Assassin, you're going to get three rockets right when you kill your enemies so what because once you've done the three rockets what you're going to do after that you're going to rocket reload rocket reload so you're going to go to four oh, i'll go to five see how this is going to be so much slower clown cartridge will load you two rockets for every reload this is dumping rockets quicker so better than envious assassin then you finally got slide shot this is the only competitive perk i believe in this column that's going to even compete with it and it is good but the question is doing all that sliding about on the circus fair is that better than just manually reloading with clown cartridge with a maxed out reload speed stat with a fitting aspects no you just it'd be better with just a quicker reload so it's better to reload two like that rather than rocket slide rocket slide which is fun but it's a novelty thing after that no you go to clown cartridge it's better it's superior for most people to play with second column the only per I mean, you've got bipod, surrounded, demolitionist, track and quick draw. So the only perks that you want to consider are two, in my opinion, either surrounded or explosive light. The reason why you don't want bipod is because bipod's good and all, but it, it's a minus 25% penalty to damage. Now, in a team, you can afford the minus 25% because you've probably got somebody using galley. When you're solo, you can't use two rockets, can you? You can't use galley and crooks hey akimbo weapons would be cool but you can't do it so why would you minus 25 percent yourself like this you're just hurting your, your dps gains that's all you're doing so you don't go bipod bipod's a champ rocket and it's all right on the champs because you're getting more you know but other than that like for damage no way no way that's too much of a penalty so you go on either surrounded or explosive light surrounded if you keep enemies alive during dps on a boss you will get a 40 percent damage bonus this works on some bosses but not all bosses because when we're solo we need to clear the ads first step one step two do mechanic step three dps ads should be clear out of your vision they shouldn't be up there's only certain instances in the game where like surrounding will be useful like let's say warlords ruin final boss when scions actively spawn during dps okay that's useful but not every boss has this mechanic of ads being alive when the boss is alive it doesn't so therefore explosive light is going to work for most of the game it's going to work all the time as long as you have access to orbs in 2024 we have access to orbs a lot of orbs get your six orbs of power you're going to get massive damage out of those rockets the last four remaining rockets aren't going to get that damage bonus fair enough but this is still more usable in more areas of the game and to finish off the surrounded explosive light debates i know you're going to comment and say i won't surround it all right then well guess what we have a little thing right called the vault see this little number here right you have 600 spaces so guess what we can do? This is so clever, right? We can run an explosive light crooks termination. And if we really are jealous of someone else with surrounded, we can also run a surrounded rocket as well. Look, we have 600 vault spaces. Just have two of them. So that when you do need a surrounded rocket, right? 
It's like a pair of shoes. You don't have one pair, right? You have a couple. For for Monday, you have the you have these pair. For for Friday, you're putting on your better pair. Just have two of the rockets. So that is your goal to have an explosive light one when it's more suitable to have that, and then a surrounded rocket when that's more suitable. Slide shots surrounded's good, but like I say, I would prefer the clown cartridge on this roll. But that's basically the reasons why I chose. Uh, that rocket the on the next clip you're going to see the damage of the rocket and the potential of it as well which was done with loaders a fitting aspect to max out reload stats so we can get massive damage to see how much damage we can do with it with all the bells and whistles with the revitalize and blast solo operators and all that stuff as well so for the damage rotation test we used triple arc weapon surge revitalize and blast solo operator all that stuff well of radiance wither horde in the damage rotation Everything to maximize the damage of this loadout to see what a clown cartridge explosive light roll is capable of. Right, so we're going to pop a well here. Right, we've got our loadout switch done. We'll do Wither Horde, debuff, and then all rockets. We double reserved a banner so we have 10 rockets plus with a two, two mag at the start of damage as well. We then revitalize and blast again, debuff again, mid DPS, and then just all rockets. We will lose damage at the back end because of explosive light going, but because we can spam so many rockets, the damage is just that good. We even have time to do fusion rifle shots. So this damage rotation was 2.7 mil. Now imagine we'd surrounded. However, we'd surrounded it's more dangerous. You might rocket yourself on a frawl, which means your DPS goes from good to zero. With explosive light, this doesn't happen. A bit more consistent, but that was the view on that.